I don't know if right. Alright, this game hates me then. Now I have to go to a different lobby to do it. I'm, by the way, guys, I know exactly a hack of how to reduce your health and damage. Okay? Now, except, whenever you have a weapon that does no damage, like the shield, it doesn't reduce no damage weapons. But it does reduce. As long as your do weapon does damage, then it then it reduces the weapon damage if you do this hack. So um, what you want to do? Go to a private golden trophy. I'm making a YouTube video, so um. So once you are in Golden Trophy, private, you will see a golden pot up there. What you want to do is, is actually grab the pots, place on the table. You're going to need a weapon for this too. Go ahead, open your watch, go to this room, press on scoreboard, and then there's a button that says start. Apparently, what you want to do, you can click on any of the archer tunic or archer clavers. You can click on any of the four archer stuff. In this case, we can do the archer cleaver. Once you click on that, stand in the, on the pedestal. Press the start button on the scoreboard to play. Uh, make sure the uh, infinite sign is in the table. Now, whenever you press start, you want to zoom your hand up and then break the pot. <laughs> Great! That happened, so now I have to go to another golden trophy. That's private. Make sure it's private, else it will not work. I'm not talking to you, I'm making a YouTube video. Alright. Again. Oh, it probably only works with a golden sword. That's where I messed up. Grab the pot. Place it on the. Wait. I forgot. You have to place it in the middle of all of those candles. You just keep trying until it eventually <laughs> keeps floating there. And then, again. We want to go to this room, scoreboard. Make sure this is, make sure the infinite sign is in there. Stand right in the middle. Yes! Just like that. Right when it starts, right when you break the pot, it should start. If that doesn't happen, then you have to go to another private one. But in this case, if it does happen, oh, I forgot a step. You guys, I forgot a step. Although, yep, I forgot a step. This is just a quick way to um to light the game. It only works in our golden trophy that I've. Arrows just fly everywhere whenever you do it. Oh, that did not work. No. All right. Oh yeah, the floating pot glitch. All you have to do is just stack some pots. In this case, you want one floating pot. Stack two pots on top of each other like that. 
and then break the bottom one, and then the top one will stay floating. Unless you touch it, then it will fall. I'll draw it later. Probably mess it up. All right. I messed it up, so um, we're gonna have to go to another private golden trophy. I messed it up. No, I'm trying to get views by a short video. This time I'm actually going to edit it in the share factory so that way it doesn't start when I stop. Ready to stop. But once you are in your private server, same as that thing with the golden sword. Again, only works with the golden sword. That make it levitate, that's way too much. It just straight like that. And then go ahead to this room, store board. Infinite size has to be in there. And then do this. And then do another private one. I messed it up again. I keep messing it up. Ready to start. Can you grab your golden sword. <laughs> grab your pot. Place it right there in the middle of the candles until it floats. You have your, you have this stand directly in the middle. So this one, scoreboard, event time, put it in there. If you mess up like this, just keep your sword as still as possible, and then start it. And then you're going to do it for game by doing this. You see what I did there? You see, you saw everything spawn? Boom. Now that should have reduced your health and damage. Then what you wanna do, go ahead. Come over here. Start making a tower. Right. A tower by five pieces. Make sure it's exactly straight like that. And then take this gigantic pot. Place it right here. On top. Now don't let it fall! Alright, it fell but it didn't break. Now if it falls and it doesn't break, then that means you're fine. Just go ahead, circle it over, but instead of the first part, instead of it looking at this, you have to make it look like that. Then same as usual. That by five pieces. Grab the big giant one. Place on top instead of it being normal like this. You have to do something a little harder. Now, if you do it upside down, then I'll mess up the whole glitch and then just break all the pots whenever it falls. So this time, place it behind. Apparently, whenever the big pot breaks, it breaks one of the small ones. As long as the top one falls and lands straight, then you are good. 
does that. And then you want to break all the parts in the room. Except for these three. Once you have these three, go ahead. Do the glitch again. Make sure it is right in front of the goblin too. And then this front one right here. You want to actually slide this underneath it. And then shoot it in the middle. If it doesn't break both, then that's bad. You want to break both. Or if you're getting really fancy, it can go right through. And then the arrow will disappear. And if the arrow just disappears without breaking the pot, you have to switch bows. If it just breaks one of them, as long as the bottom one's standing, then just go ahead, drain the bow inside. And so like that. And then, grab the bows. Place one back there. And one right there. That will start the glitch. Actually, no, that won't. Then go ahead, take the shield. Jump up and then smack it. If you're standing up out of camera and then you jump up in real life and in game and then punch it, it will say out of, out of play area, which is what you want. You want to do that and then just click on the door once it says out of play area. <laughs> Boom, just like that. Just like that. Boom, it's out of play area. Right when it's out of play area, I dropped it. So then, boom. There you go. Readers damage and health. That is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how. Also makes you um, invincible to um, area attacks. Like this, this is an area attack. When they all group up, they all just group up to one area and then attack you. That's exactly what an area attack is in this game. Now, you are invisible to area attacks on short boxes, but if there's no box, then you're v vulnerable, not, in not invulnerable. But, I'm just smacking them gently, look. <laughs> he just smacked them gentle and it's still two, t two hits him. <laughs> now by the time this comes out, Record might patch it, so... Beware. Might be patched when Record sees this. Not unless you get double teamed. Now two fireballs is just way too much. But that's how I do it. Sometimes the uh, reader's damage just glitches out. It can go for, it only goes for a certain amount of levels until you have to do the whole glitch again. Not the whole, you don't have to do the whole glitch again. Just um, you don't need the pot, you can just put the sword right there, make sure it level tapes like that. Actually, no. You need all of it to be in a fire. Yes, all, all the pieces of the sword is in the fire. Go ahead. Same exact thing. Scoreboard. Inside in there. Just press it. That's what I did right when it started. I pressed it while well, the screen was black. So, outside. <sighs> and 
Anyways, that's how you do it. Be sure to give the video a like. Subscribe. If you love the video, be sure to share it with your friends. If you love the video, I'm sure they will love it too. And um, actually, if you want to share it with your friends, you have to be quick. If you're not quick enough, then um, the glitch will be patched and yeah. We'll move on in life. Blah, blah. I'm number 145. Dang. Runs champions. Champions. Who? Oh, yeah, these are the champions. Number one places, I don't know. I'm not a champ. I'm not a champion, though. Wins. I've won. Kills. I got a whole bunch of kills. But that's how you. See you on the next one. Goodbye.